Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. This is the attempt to break the 1000 joule limit for a homemade air gun. And I changed my weapon from last time over to the big caliber now. Let me show you its features. I simply removed the original uh, arrow barrel and attached a barrel that is chambered for this all steel arrow. As you see, it has a center punch tip, hardened steel from Hazard, German company. And it's stainless steel all the way. And as you see, it's a good penetrator. See how much the veins have already suffered. Well, it'll do for today. And this barrel actually, I've redesigned it a bit to squeeze out a little more speed. As you see, it now has a steel kind of cap here so that the arrow is only making contact with this. So this is actually the air seal and um, the rest of the tube is loose fitting to reduce friction. And of course there is grease on it. And since this isn't a seamless tube, so there is a seam inside, I actually filed a little groove into the barrel that accommodates that so that it really fits only one way. And see, you can not, not turn it now because of the seam. This actually might be a way to give it a further twist. If you file the groove in a certain angled way, then it might be good enough for doing that, just like a rifle barrel. This arrow actually weighs 400 grams. So in order to exceed 1000 joule, I have to shoot it faster than 70 meters per second, like 71 meters per second. I hope that it's gonna work. Temperature is not ideal, it's around 20 degrees now. Um, it could be better if it will be warmer, but I hope that it'll do. And this is my test setup. Here's a crony, of course. But then I was asking myself how to stop a bullet or a, an arrow that fast. Because it will almost certainly go right through the triple layer archery mat. But then it will still have significant speed. So I put the car door next. And then I put the riot shield next. Mind you, a normal arrow from a powerful com a commercial crossbow won't even penetrate through this let alone not through this and certainly also not through the riot shield. And I hope that this is good enough to stop my bolt halfway in between somewhere here. Because of the enormous impact that's going to happen here, I had to stabilize everything. So this means that all these plates are mounted to together to form like a uh, transfixed platform. And also see there is an additional piece of wood that's giving it additional traction on the ground. And of course, all the uh, targets have been mounted properly. So that hopefully not too much energy is wasted by toppling over the table. Okay, now the uh, weapon is fully pressurized at 300 bar. And I give you a tip. If you have a compressor that is on the floor, you have to bend over to activate it Make sure that your sharp flat irons are out of the way, otherwise it might end a little bit bloody. <laughs> As you see, flat iron has two sharp edges. <laughs> it's just a scratch. Don't worry, I won't disappoint you, I'll shoot anyway. And we all know why that happened. Because I don't have my safety t-shirt on. How risky from me. <laughs> okay, ready for the shot. I saw the door jamming. And we made it. We are at 74.74. Okay, let's look at the results. Seventy-four, seventy-four. Yes, it went clean through the car door, like a downwards angle, and actually it slid underneath the shield. I think we have to do that one more time to see if we can really penetrate all three. Because the shot was angled a little bit too much downwards. Okay, this time I will just go a little bit lower to see if we can make it like that. Okay. And <laughs> wow. 
Yes, we made it. It flew through and penetrated the riot shield, but it didn't manage, or it even did puncture a small hole into the inside of this. And this is probably because the, the tip is a bit blunt from all the hammering. Amazing. Wow. Wow, that was an amazing achievement. I actually broke the 1000 joule limit with a lot of reserve. My calculations say it's uh, over 1100 joule now. And as you see, I also mastered to stop the arrow and not destroy my shed any further. But indeed, the next challenge must be to send it right through all of this. <laughs> Stay tuned. And by the way, YouTube just gave me access to the beta program of the community tab. This means it's like a little bit of Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or whatever built right into YouTube. This means that my channel page now has a tab. It's called community and I can post pictures and GIFs and videos and of course text. Uh, and I'll do that every once in a while to keep you updated on projects. Uh, and that could be interesting for you or not. But if you click on your subscriptions, then uh, go and click on the bell. Then what you can do is you can select if you want to be notified just for the videos or also for all the community stuff. I plan to post updates like every two days or so. Um, so uh, just as little teasers. Anyway, that's it for today. <laughs> Me and my champion, we say thanks and bye bye. <laughs>